Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my first video in my redone, re whatever mascara series. Originally, this um, series was going to be a um, eight video series on eight different mascaras, and I was going to review them and talk about them for you. Um, the very first ones that I did, my computer erased somehow, so what I ended up doing was just doing a huge video. It ended up being like 30 minutes long. Um, so yeah, they all got combined into one video. But I figured I would go ahead and redo it. Um, I just do it every day when I do my makeup, and um, I'll just use a different one every day. Since I've been using these for a while, it's easy for me to talk about them. So, today, um, these are not going to be in any order, but just on how I grab them or how they work with the look I'm going with. Um, so yeah. Today's um, review is going to be on Maybelline Lash Stiletto Voluptuous, and it is the red one. And I know it's silly to show you guys this one first, um, but since I did a very neutral eye today, and it actually, I mean, other than, like, being really white on my lids, it probably doesn't look like I'm wearing much eyeshadow at all. Um, but I did this look with the Naked Palette by Urban Decay, so... Um, it's definitely, um, very brown. There's brown in the crease, and, um, I use Naked, and it's a very light brown, kind of like Cork, um, by MAC, and it's up in the crease, and, yeah. So, it's a very light eye, um, very brown, very neutral, so instead of doing a very heavy, dramatic black lash, um, I wanted to do something a little bit lighter. So... This one is in blackish brown, which is the only brownish mascara I have. So I figured I would just go ahead and review it for you guys. Alright, so you guys can probably see, and I'm going to move you a little bit closer, and I'm going to do it this way instead of like doing the zoom in thing. Um, this is the eye that already has the mascara on. So you guys can get a look at that. Um, it doesn't make my lashes overly spidery, but it does... Um, comparing them to this eye, you can definitely see that even though I have naturally long lashes, it gave my lashes more length, and it definitely volumized them. I mean, you can clearly see the effects that it has. So, yeah. Um, you can still see that they are nice and dark, and I also applied them to my lower lashes, which is a little bit more difficult to see because I have very light lower lashes. Um, but, yeah. So, um, the consistency of this is really, really nice. It's a little bit more, um, it's on the drier side as far as mascaras go. It's not really, really wet. But to show you the brush really quickly, this is what the brush looks like. And I love, love, love this brush. There's a slight um, S shape to it that has a little bit of a curve in it. And you can see it gets nice and thin down here at this end. That really helps focus in on those inner lashes. But it's also really good for getting the lashes over here in the corner, on the outside corner that people often forget about. So, it picks up a nice amount of product, and you can see the bristles are kind of short and fat. Um, and it's not a rubber brush, it's a regular brush. The only thing that I don't like about this is you have to rush to put on your second coat, because it is so dry. Um, it tells you right on the packaging when you buy it to um, apply your second coat before the first coat finishes drying. So... Um, if you like to wait in between your coats, you can't really do that with this one, and the same thing with the regular one, but, um, so yeah. Overall packaging, very cute, I think. Um, it's in the shape of a stiletto heel, like it would be on a regular heel. Um, red with a little black tip at the bottom. Cute writing. Um, kind of fancy cursive writing. And I like red. Red's my favorite color, so I'm a sucker for red packaging, so... Um, I will go ahead and apply it very quickly to this lash, these lashes, this lash, these, um, this side so you can see the effects. And I already curled my lashes. So can you guys see, like, how that glides over my lashes and really grips the, um, my lashes really grab the product because it's, it's just the right consistency. I'm going to dip my brush again and go into the inner corner here and get those inner lashes. 
and then, ooh, try not and do that. Go into these outer lashes and really get those outer ones. And then the key to using this brush, I guess, is just the way you flip it. I'm going to roll it. This is kind of hard to do. And get those bottom lashes without making too much of a mess on my face. And then real quickly, go in with a second coat. Guess I'll get that side again since the other side got a little bit darker. And that's it. So there is a completed look. You guys can see I just did this side and this side. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this review was helpful. Um, again, you can get this at most drugstores. I think it's like seven bucks, depending on where you get it from. But it works really, really well. Um, my recommendation for any mascara is just to curl your lashes first. It's going to give them more body and more lift anyways. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Stay tuned for the rest of the um, mascara series, and I'll see you guys all again soon. Bye.